dominated American culture is belabored, no area is spared. Like the world at large, the fashion world is beset with confusion. Is it mini, midi, or maxi? Every woman gets to choose, and that is women's lib. Enhancement difficult. Women complain of being looked on and evaluated by sex and not ability. A new movement for women's liberation is launched, and once again protesters take to the street to support their demands for total freedom, economically, politically, socially. Congress responds, passing a constitutional amendment guaranteeing women equality of rights under the law. Within two years, it is ratified by 20 of the 38 states needed for adoption. Business and industry open new doors and provide greater opportunities for placement and advancement as the number of working women continues to grow. Women are no longer Miss or Mrs, but Ms, capital M, small s, period. In politics, women's lib secures a greater voice in picking candidates and shaping policy at both the Republican and Democratic conventions. Betty Friedan is among the delegates to the Democratic convention. Representative Bella Apzig of New York also attends, along with a leading spokeswoman of the women's lib movement, Gloria Steinem. Youngest delegate is Julie Price of Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Seen here with Speaker Carl Albert of the House of Representatives. Julie, age 18, was one of the first girl pages to serve in the United States Senate. History is made when Shirley Chisholm, first black woman elected to the House, becomes the first black woman nominated to run for president. Miss Chisholm receives more than 100 votes. The publication in 1963 of Betty Friedan's bestseller, The Feminine Mystique, caused women to re-examine traditional roles and to protest old stereotypes. During the Miss America pageant in 1968, women conducted demonstrations on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. Demanding freedom from the bondage of male chauvinism, many women began to seek professional careers. This emerging consciousness would soon be known as women's liberation. The times were changing.